<laughs> so anyway, that was the uh, surprise for yesterday. Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. Yeah, he is. We weren't really expecting him. Look at these spots. Looks like a little pea. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. <laughs> got dirt face in the background. Got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper. Would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem? If I posted a letter? So most of you knew this day was coming. Today is the day Chip will be leaving the farm. Uh, you guys see I got the trailer hooked up. Chip's eagerly waiting to jump in there. Uh, he don't know what's happening. And just to be upfront, I don't want to sugarcoat anything. Chip is going to a local animal auction. And just to be clear, I do not know if he will be sold as a breeder. He could be sold to go to a meat market. Um, that is just part of it. Um, if he was a goat that wasn't showing a little bit of aggression, um, you guys have been following the last previous videos. You can see whenever I go in the feed, he likes to headbutt this orange bucket. I think it's because it's OSU uh, cowboy colors. I'm not quite sure because we're Sooner fans. Don't tell Rachel that, but I am. Um, no, uh, all kidding aside, he could be sold as a breeder buck on another goat farm somewhere. He could be sold to go to a meat market. That is the uh, truth of it all. And uh, that's that's out of my control. And you know, if he was a uh, goat that I trusted around other people, kids and dogs, livestock guardian dogs, I would post him for sale locally, like on uh, Craigslist or just off the farm. But I don't want to sell him to somebody that I personally know or another person and take that risk of him injuring their livestock guardian dog or going to another farm and when a when an elderly person that buys him or something walks in the gate with the feed bucket he starts headbutting them um i'm i'm a pretty big guy i'm pretty strong uh he's almost knocked me down a few times so i don't want that at all um i know you can say well he's a, he could be aggressive blah blah you know, I'm not even going to mess with that. I'm just going to take him to the auction. And uh, when you're buying something at an auction, you know you're buying something as is. And uh, anyways, I could go on and on about that. Uh, first thing I got to do is I'm going to get him, put him in the trailer. And then I got to get this handy dandy ear tag applicator and uh, put a uh, scrapey tag in his ear. Um, this is required by law. Anytime a goat leaves your farm, you're actually supposed to do it. If I don't do it on the farm, whenever I take him to the local auction and unload him, the first thing they do is they will actually assign a scrapey tag and it will have my farm name, information, address, all that on there. And the reason is, is if for some reason down the road he was to get the scrapey disease or anything, they can actually trace it back to our farm and tell us, hey, you need to do whatever, isolate all your goats, don't sell no more, whatever they do. We never had that problem. I don't think it's a real common problem in the United States, but it is required by law. Um, so we're gonna do that. Um, I am by myself today, I don't have any help, so it's just gonna be me and him. And uh, you can see he's got a uh, female that is ready to breed. I think he's already been breeding her for a few days. So she should be bred, that's Boots, the black and brown goat over there. So he might be a little bit aggressive today, but I got this, uh, I'm gonna stick this in the trailer. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give all the other goats just a little bit of food 
because anytime you open this gate, especially when they see food right here, uh, this bucket, they will try to run out. So I'm gonna dump a little feed right here by the gate. This is my plan anyway. This is my plan. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna dump a little feed right here by the gate, get everybody kind of occupied. He's got something else on his mind right now. Uh, rather than food, he's got his tongue sticking out now. But then I'm gonna try to grab him and uh, the goal is to try to get him out without any of the other goats getting out. That is what the feed's for. Hopefully, the feed will distract all the uh, nanny goats. You can see some of them sticking their heads through the fence. So, let's get this done. Um, I'm not gonna film hauling him off to the auction or anything. I'm gonna load him up, do all that, get the tag in him. And then when we get back, we're gonna see what feeding is like without Chip on the farm. No more angry goats. All right, let's do it like we always do. One last time, buddy. This is your last chance to headbutt the, uh, here, Chip. Last chance to headbutt the, uh, bucket. You ready? All right, make sure all my gates are closed. You're gonna be nice today. They could probably follow this bucket right in, huh? Okay. Okay. Still got all my teeth. Had to check because last time his dad knocked my teeth out. Two two front teeth, anyways. Okay. So let's get him some food. Get in there. Think we can do this here, Tag? Just me and you? Not gonna like it. So I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. It's ear Tag, Oklahoma. It's issued by the United States government, um, Department of Agriculture. This code is tied back to our farm. This means it's Oklahoma. I don't know what all the other stuff means, but it is required by law, so. Alright, so I'm gonna grab him. It don't really matter what ear, but I would. Alright. Got him here. He's got some big old horns and I sure don't want none of these in my in my grill or my face. Especially he could knock you out or anything. So I know I showed this on the farm before. I'm gonna do his left side. He's gonna jump as soon as I do it. Not too bad. Alright, alright, you're done, you're done. Oh, there you go. So what do you think? Come here. Are you mad? Are you mad? You wanna talk? You wanna tell everybody your goodbye story? <sighs> it's been a great two years. You provided us with a lot of uh, really good looking offspring. We got a bunch of your does we're keeping, so the jerk, jerk face line will never be gone, probably. Unless we sell out of most of our goats, because even some of the Kikos over there, a lot of our Pico goats, um, they are uh, blood from uh, the original jerk face from Arm Family Homestead. So you can see he's nervous, he's shaking around a little bit. I got some food for him here. I'm gonna go grab a little more, put it in the actual bowl, but uh, we're fixing the head out. What do you think? Come here. We're done. Don't start now. Come here. Let's let's leave on a good note. How about that? You wanna leave on a good note? Come here. I know, I'm not cornering you. Just like any other animal, you don't want to corner them because then they start feeling scared and 
like you're gonna do something. I know you're, uh, his old beard and his face is all sticky and stinky, but I wanna say my goodbyes. Fist bump, fist bump, what's that? All right, I'll let you be. All right guys, so uh, we're done here in a little bit. I'm gonna pull out with him and uh, this will be the last time you ever see Chip at Hidden Heights Farm. for sponsoring today's video. Thrive Market does all the hard work for you, allowing you to shop for ethically sourced pantry products, sustainable meat and seafood, to non-toxic cleaning and beauty products. And no matter the eating style you're trying to follow, whether it be keto, vegan, paleo, or in my case, sugar-free, Thrive Market has you covered. And if you live in a small rural community like we do, we have to travel a long ways to find a specialty food store. And as our local grocery stores are struggling to keep our essential items in stock, we can always rely on Thrive Market to deliver what we need. And you can too if you sign up for a Thrive Market membership for as little as $5 a month, you too can receive members only pricing. You can also sign up for an auto ship so you never run out of those essential items you always need. So some of our family's favorite products to shop at Thrive Market, as you can see, a wide variety of healthy snacks and my wife Rachel really loves the quality cleaning products at an awesome price. Thrive Market also has a user-friendly app so you can easily browse various categories and brands. So one of my favorite things about Thrive Market is all orders $49 and up ship free. So if you're interested, you can go to thrivemarket.com forward slash Hidden Heights Farm and your first order you'll receive 40% off and you also get a free gift. I'll leave a link down in the description below. If you guys are interested, it is thrivemarket.com forward slash Hidden Heights Farm. Well, we are back and uh, life goes on on the farm without Chip. So it's feeding time. I'm gonna grab some feed. We're gonna go feed Liski and uh, the Kiko and Spanish goats. Get them all fed, make sure they got water and everything. And then we're gonna go over and uh, check out Mojo and talk to the Pico goats. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm gonna be the first time I ever get to walk in and not get uh, head butted. Although I know the hanger goats are gonna pretty much stampede me like always, but this time I don't have to worry, worry about Chip running around and throwing his horns around like this and that. But uh, we'll, we'll talk more about that when we get over there. <laughs> we are Lisky man, sitting there patiently. All right, so now I think we got a routine down. Um, just about every evening I come out here to feed, the quack pack is at the gate waiting. I don't know if they're wanting in the yard or if they are just used to the new schedule and they know I'm coming with some feed. So I try to feed them just a little bit every day. Like I said, they eat a lot of grass and they're still eating bugs and they eat some kind of grass that's still growing in the pond. But their little beaks, get to going 90 to nothing. They're kind of fun to watch. We really need to find some females. But anyways, they're going good. Oh, I had a couple of chickens trying to uh, sneak a few pieces. Of Mr. Leesky's waiting there. So let me get the goats fed. We'll do the bucket cam again. You know, Chip, your half brother's gone. You're the, here you are. Hey, what are you doing that? Lisky, what are you doing? Stealing feed? Alright. 
to give him some room, man. At least he gets excited. That's a uh, sound of joy and excitement. He's not actually hurt. Oh, he knows it's feeding time. What are you eating? Hey, I don't think you're supposed to eat chicken poo. Hey, what are you eating? Man, Skeeter. All right, Mr. Leesky's patiently waiting. Leesky, I'm so proud of you, buddy. You know that? I am so proud of you, and here comes the thief. She said, uh, Leesky, you gonna share any of that food with me? I love your dog food. Leesky said, man, I need all this food. I'm a grown boy. He's a grown boy. Tell her. All right. Hold on. If you'd move your big head, I'd get Leesky an egg. I'm gonna crack it on your horn. Hold on. Watch this. Leesky, stop. <laughs> He's cleaning her head off because I actually cracked an egg on her. All right, there you go. Get out of, get out of there. That's not for goats. Honey. That is not for goats, girl. You got a bunch of food in the barn and you got a giant round bell right there, but you want to eat dog food. You know what's in dog food? Hey. You got a scratch or something on your neck. Looks like a dry spot. All right, so uh, they got fresh water. It's just about full. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. We are supposed to be getting some freezing temperatures tomorrow. And if you guys remember last year, this water hydrant actually froze. Um, it's like 18, 20 inches in the ground, the water line is, but somehow this water line froze last year and I never did a kind of look into it or repair it. Um, usually on this type of frost free hydrant, they have a little plunger valve in the bottom and the way that works is whenever you lift this handle up and you use this water, it comes up and it goes through your water hose and all that. Whenever you put the handle down, there's a little plunger valve that goes all the way down to the ground and it actually uh, has a little weep hole and it allows all the water that is stored up in this shaft to drain out so this metal doesn't expand and uh, if it freezes it won't it won't uh, bust the, it doesn't expand. If there's still water in here, it won't freeze because uh, there's no water in there. That's what that plunger valve opens up and allows it to drain. But I think if a little piece of sediment or sand or anything gets in that plunger valve drain hole, then the water doesn't drain and then this can freeze. So, you can see these brave chickens, Randy. Every once in a while, the goats will drop a few pieces of uh, dog food. At least he's not too bad about it, but Randy sits there and he tries to get the spoils of war from the dog and the goat arguing over the food. All right, so I'm gonna let this fill up and then uh, we'll go feed Mojo and see what he thinks about not having Chip around anymore. Well, you know Taylor Swift. You're a pretty girl. You're not Taylor Swift. Sheriff Skeeter's keeping patrol, trying to keep the chickens away from uh, Leesky's food. He knows that that's Leesky's food and he don't like the chickens trying to eat it. Right, Skeeter? Right, Sheriff? Where's Smeagol at? Where's your first deputy Smeagol? He should be out here. I haven't seen Smeagol. What, you ain't on yours? Skeeter's always gonna get his. Alright, go tell Mojo it's dinner time. Come on, Skeet, round him up. Not ball. Hey, it's not ball time. See? This crowd of chickens follows me every time. 
Tell Mojo it's dinner time. Where's Mojo? Where's Mojo? Let's get him. Mo? Well, what do you think? The bully's gone. Are you proud? Are you oh, not proud? I know you're proud. Are you happy? Huh? Guess what? Now you can follow me into the uh, goat pasture again. We don't have to wait. All right. He said, let's go then. He said, let's go. Come on, let's go. Are you excited? He says, no more chip. No more chip. <laughs> Only thing I got to worry about now is Shadow jumping up and trying to eat out of the bucket. All right. Set your food up here so the chickens don't knock it down. Get everybody preoccupied so I can get in the gate. All right, so first time feeding without chip. Come on, Mo. But look, Shadow still jumps up. Come on. All right, Mojo said, uh, are you sure Chip's going? Come on, get in here. Oh, all right, Mo, I gotta feed them real quick. Because I only got two arms. One arm is holding the camera, one's holding the feed bucket. And you can see, everybody just scrambles around like it's insane. One day I'll get a feeder like I got in the other barn to where this is a lot easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump a little bit over here and that kind of distract some of them so I don't have to dump it on their head. We put it a little over there. All right, there you go. Then I like to put a little, some piles because you got a little teacup, little bitty tea, teeny tiny teacup. She likes to eat too, but sometimes the goats are kind of mean to her, some of the bigger ones. So I like to go around and just make a few piles here and there. Here you go. All right, we gotta feed Mo. You know what? You're patiently waiting. Guess what? All right, I'm gonna ask you. I know you're hungry, but let's talk about Chip real quick. Look at the camera. Don't be camera shy. Don't be camera shy. So Chip is gone, guys. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, um, about a month ago, uh, Mojo come in like every other day. I was going to feed the goats, feed the dog. I usually dump his food in there and then feed the goats. Well, this time I did it. I fed him first and uh, Chip didn't like that. So Chip decided to headbutt him right here in the chest when he wasn't watching. And then the fight was on. Mojo grabbed him by the neck. Chip didn't want no part of it. Let's shake. Um, so he's never done it again, but anyways, it kind of upset Mojo's feelings because it's never happened to him before. And uh, you are the alpha dog, right? Like you're a little bit older than Leesky. He's like, yeah, I don't like bragging about it, but yeah, I'm the oldest here. <laughs> anyways, um, he's gonna lay down and let me pet him. He's a... Uh, He's gonna have to get used to Chip being gone because every time he come in that gate, he knew to wait. Because if I let him in with me, before I fed Chip, Chip would put his head down and Mojo was just ready. But Mojo never did lay down and just take it from him. He uh, was ready to attack if he got attacked. Smeagol, what do you know, First Deputy? Deputy Sheriff Smeagol. What do you know, little boy? You been hunting today? Huh? You been hunting? I haven't seen any, uh fresh kills anywhere unless you ate them I gotta go get Mojo some eggs I'll be back all right so uh, how are the girls adjusting to chip being gone <laughs> I don't see any difference to be honest um you know I laugh about it it is a bittersweet day anytime you get rid of an animal that you've had on your farm for a while um, you know, he, I'm not gonna say he was a bad goat, he just started getting a little bit aggressive when the girls were ready to breed, you know? And that is normal animal activity. You just gotta be extra careful. Now, where I'm going with this is, I didn't feel comfortable letting Rachel and the kids come out here and do the chores while we still had Chip. Now that he's gone, um, they're not home right now, but now that he's gone, you know, I don't have to really worry because there's nothing out here that uh, I have to worry about. Um, all the female goats we got, they're not aggressive at all. 
Sometimes Shadow, you guys see him, she'll jump up on your bucket trying to get the first little bite out of the bucket, but that's just normal. You know, she's not a big goat. She's not gonna knock no one over or nothing. Ah, Smeagol, what are you doing? Yeah, that's not a good place to go to the bathroom. So anyways, if you guys hear me um, kind of out of breath, I had to go to the doctor the other day. I had some breathing problems. I got an inhaler and stuff. So I'm kind of on the mend there. Um, I get a, I've been getting out of breath a little bit easier. I uh, don't know why, but anyways, I don't know. So I got a couple eggs from Mojo. We'll go, uh, I'm gonna let this fill up a second and then we'll go give Mojo some eggs. Our dogs absolutely love the raw eggs on top of their food. And I got my heater plugged in from uh, a couple weeks ago. It's still plugged in because we've been getting freezing temperatures in the nighttime and you know, don't like having to come out here and bust the ice. Um, I'm still busting it over at Leesky's water trough because I don't trust him with the cords. Don't wanna get a dog electrocuted or shocked. But I think all the goats are fine. Um, if anything, they're probably happy they get a little bit of a break from Chip, you know, having a big buck around always on your tail. It's probably a little bit of a relief. I got what you want. You got somebody waiting for you to say you're done so she can eat the rest of your food. Buttercup or butterscotch sits here and waits for Mojo to get done. As soon as Mojo's done, she comes in and uh, claims the prize. Yes, you get to eat her. You get treats and stuff all the time. Look. So what do you think, Mo? Just another day on the farm? That's what I say too. All right, so let's go over here and uh, check out some of the activity from these goats. Nothing weird going on, nobody's crying, nothing like that. Um, however, we are gonna have some more babies from Chip because he did breed some of these goats. So I know, uh, for instance, uh, Boots right here, the black and brown one. Uh, just this morning before I loaded him up, he was kind of chasing her around and I think he bred her the last couple days. So in about five months or so, we'll have a baby Chip out of her for sure. And then whichever one of these other nannies are pregnant, there it could be any of them. And you got Smeagol over there exploring. You never know what he's going to be doing. He's up there on the hay bale. Smeagol, what are you doing, buddy? Go catch a field mouse. All right. So as you can see, everybody is acting normal, like I said. Uh, Chip's not chasing everyone around. That's Cammie's daughter. If you guys remember Cammie. Cammie is, uh, she looked just like Chip did when he was younger. She's got the moon spots on her. And that's why we called him Chip. Is because he looked like a chocolate chip cookie. He was like brown and he had the black moon spots. Hers is reversed. You can see hers are light. And she's like a darker red color. Well, Chip, um, hey, that ain't nice. Chip was, uh, brown and he had, like, the darker spots. Everybody's starting to headbutt. And little teacup, she ain't scared of nothing. She's getting right in there with them. Even though I fed her on the ground all over the place. They gotta get every last drop. Uh-oh. Got a stalker. You really think you're gonna stalk a baby goat? You better not. Spiegel. You're supposed to guard him. Maybe that's what he's doing. Maybe he is guarding the goats. I don't know what he's doing. He looks like a lion stalking a freaking, uh, I don't know what they're called. All right, so uh, Mojo's done. And let me show you here. Look who moved in, just like I said. Walt, Matilda, and Butterscotch. They come in for the leftovers. good stuff. Skeeter says, you ain't supposed to be eating that, but if you drop any, I'll clean it up. Don't worry. Alright, let's see. Mojo doing his thing.
I think he's just putting down his scent. It's just that's just his uh oh well we're not gonna watch that he's definitely putting down his scent all right well uh i think this is a good good time to uh end the video we don't need to be uh focusing and zooming in on that so guys anyways um to kind of talk a little bit more about the whole chip situation this is part of farm life i know uh, a lot of you guys might be a little bit upset because um you know i told you guys the truth about what could happen to chip you know he, it's not guaranteed he's going to go to a uh, nice big farm somewhere and be a stud breeder goat uh he could easily be uh sent to the meat market i mean that's just reality uh more than likely the percentage uh lies in his favor he's a good looking goat you guys seen him he's not wild acting you know he's he's still healthy young looking goat he had some nice looking horns them are uh those type of goats are really sought after here at the local livestock auction a lot of people like to buy them and put them in as breeder goats. so more than likely he'll become a dad somewhere else in, on a farm somewhere uh, don't know where because uh, people come from all over to this area to this uh, auction to buy goats There's not a lot of auctions in Oklahoma that uh, sell goats, but anyways um, Yeah, I just wanted to be uh, open and honest with you guys and tell you you know There's no guarantee and I kind of explained why we're not just putting him on the Craigslist or on the farm page and just selling him as a breeder pet because there is a risk there that he could knock you over and all that and I don't want I don't want to have to deal with that or want that on my conscience. So anyways, I know most of you will uh, understand all that. You know, like I said, it's bittersweet. Um, that's part of farm life, part of farming. And when you raise cattle, horses, whatever, you don't want to keep the same breeding buck or bull over and over. You gotta get, you kind of got to get some new genetics in. You don't want to carry on with the inbreeding and stuff like that. It just leads to bad things. You want a healthy and good looking herd. So now it is actually time to bring in a new bloodline. We've been breeding the jerk face line. I think we've been going on three years now. Started with jerk face junior straight from a uh, arm family homestead. And we had jerk or uh, chip. We've been using him for the past two years. And last summer, actually two summers ago, we got rid of jerk face right when he uh, knocked my teeth out. But uh, L over there, you guys seen L? He's the big white butt goat over on our Kiko and Spanish herd. He's full blood Kiko. Um, all those babies over there are out of him this year. And uh, we got some that might be having some more babies out of him. So stay tuned for that. Uh, then we'll probably be done with him as a breeder as well. And then we'll probably try to get a uh, either a registered or full blood Kiko, we might even go with the full blood Spanish. We still got our registered uh, Spanish herd, so who knows what'll happen. But I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit about all that. You know how far farming goes. You you would love to be able to keep all your animals, but it's just not good practice. Um, a lot of the nannies, you know, you can keep them for the duration of their whole life. And uh, a lot of times we, we do do that. They get older and then we just pretty much let them retire. Mojo's going back to the house. He just jumps the fence. I guess he's he's done he's gonna go take a nap I guess he went and rolled around did it did his thing but anyways guys that's enough rambling uh, please hit that subscribe button follow us on Facebook uh, like this video leave a comment below and uh, stay tuned you'll never know what kind of a uh, buck we'll get we're not in a hurry right now so uh, we got a little time to do some shopping but stay tuned because one day we might have a video pop up we might have a new uh, buck goat on the farm might have two you never know We'll see you later, guys.